Stay tuned to learn this quick, easy, protective style, perfect for anybody who's busy and on a budget. Hey everyone, it's Bernice. As you guys know, um, if you've been following my channel, I am a dual degree student, so I'm a fourth year medical student, and I'm also um, currently doing a master's in public policy. So that means two things, that I don't have a lot of time and I don't have a lot of money. I do my own hair. Most of the time I try to avoid having to pay for my hair to get done. And for me, it's also a self care kind of mechanism, getting to know my natural hair and, and trying different styles and that sort of thing. So what we're gonna be doing today um, are these faux locks. So as you can see, I've already started the process in the front. I'm gonna walk you through how I do just two of them in the front. So there's kind of a different process. So I parted my hair in half. And in the front, I'm gonna be doing these individual ones, just so whenever I part my hair, it looks more um, natural. And then I cornrowed the back of my hair, as you can see in the back. Um, and I'll show you what I'll do with the back. This is all that I have left to do in the front, so I'm gonna walk you through my process. First, I put some leave-in conditioner on it, just to moisturize the hair. And then I'm gonna put some um, shea butter from that I got at an African street festival. Um, it's from Ghana. Just so that my hair underneath is moisturized. Just key in protective styling. And then I'm gonna part this into two sections because I think the, the base of it needs to be just a little bit smaller, so. about even I think so and it doesn't have to be perfect especially when you're doing this faux lock look um it actually looks a little bit more natural sometimes whenever the part isn't even now I'm gonna be using um something called the Jazz Nicole method check out her YouTube channel she is a goddess at doing these faux locks this is the brand that I'm using um I I love I love it and this is actually the second time I'm using these faux locks. I told y'all I don't have mad money, so um, I had I had put these in um, a few months ago, and then I took them out and I washed them and um, using them again. It's it's like a great way, great way to save, and I need to save because this residency process that I'm going through right now, y'all, is expensive. It's so expensive. <laughs> Like I just turned my ass in the other day and it was like, surprise, you owe $450. And I was like, oh, what? That's what I did. I did that exact, Ugh, whatever. It's gonna be okay. Anyway, okay, so let me show you closely what I'm doing. So I separated the base section that I have into three to make a braid. This faux lock that I'm putting in is pre-looped so it comes with a little bit of a loop at the top and i just put it into one of these sections okay push it all the way to the top and what i'm gonna do is now that this faux lock is flush to my head i just start braiding And I promise you guys, it might seem like this style takes a long time, but this front part is actually what takes most of the time. The back is quick, quick. Um, and you don't even really have to do this front part. I just kind of prefer it for aesthetics. So anyway, I only braid it maybe like two inches down or so. And then I split it into two. So I take one of the sections and I split it into two. And this is something that um, Jazz Nicole calls bristing because you braid and then you twist. So then I take the rest of the section and I just put it into a two strand twist. All right. 
So now that I have this twist, this is the part that is especially um, protective of your hair underneath um, for however long you keep this in. This faux lock, we're going to basically hide this inside. So the faux locks are hair that are wrapped around each other to give it this, this look. If you unravel it, you can unravel it and make it so that it's almost like a flat piece of hair, right? So I unravel it and I'm tucking the hair inside. And I'm effectively just going to unravel it and wrap the hair. Let me make sure you guys can see really well. I'm wrapping, wrapping this around my hair. Pin it open and wrap every time you go around. It gets a lot easier the more you do it. Okay. Once you get to the end, it's hidden inside, and then I usually like to pull on it. I just tug on it so it really gets in there. And I twist it together. And there you have one. I'm going to show you one more time with this final section that I have. So you have your section divided into three. Open this up and put it on one of the sections. Holding this flush to your head. Break like one to two inches. And then switch to twisting. And then wrap it. Most of your, your sections usually actually don't have to be this small, and a lot of my other sections were not this small, but I just, I did it this small so I would have two to, to demonstrate to you guys. this around unwrap and then wrap the whole time protecting your natural hair underneath Inside and give it a tug to pull it in more. And I twist it together. And there you go. So that's how you do the front. So now you can see my whole front is completed. Um, and I like doing the front in individuals because it allows me to part it and put it up in ponytails um, without it being really obvious um, that it's crochet. So that's one of the things I love. Now this back portion, I'm gonna show you how I braided the back portion. I'm not keeping this crochet in for very long, just for some weeks. So I didn't want to go crazy with an intricate braid pattern in the back. I just braided straight back. Don't come for me. I am not a professional at this. 
The good thing is that this all is gonna be covered by the locks and so it doesn't have to look perfect. If I needed this to show, I would probably have somebody else do it for me to be honest, but I just did four like that. Um, and since I have some hair that is hanging off of the edge, I'm going to tuck that in. All right, so I've actually already done these, these three um, cornrows, tucked the hair under. And so we have one more where the hair is, is out. Take the crochet hook, open it. We're gonna fold it. I want it to be hidden on this side so you can't see. I don't want it over here so you can see it on the outside. I want it on the inside here, okay? So I'm folding the braid under this way. I'm gonna take the crochet hook, feed it into the side under the braids, feed it in. Now you see that it's open here. Take the, the tip of your braid and hook it in. Close it. Pull it through. So now we have it here. You see how it's laying flat? We might need to pull this one a little bit more. Not too tight, otherwise it'll hurt. <laughs> and so we're just gonna do this a couple more times to hide it because we don't want this sticking out either. So take it higher up the braid. Hook the end on. Pull it through. You see? Up the braid again. Take the end of it, close it, pull it through, and that should be enough. So, now you notice this is it's flush with my head. All right, so now comes the easy part where we just need to crochet the rest of the hair. You can put these things anywhere. The idea is that you just wanna fill up the whole back. I used these locks before, but I'm just filling up the whole back of my head with these. So I hook the hook. Taking the open loop. Hook it. Close, pull through, open again, remove it, and this I'm going to go through here. And it's just going to loop, and it's basically attached to this whole braid. Let me show you a few more. You can imagine how this is a great protective style because your hair underneath is really protected. Hook. Close loop. Pull through. So we're going to need to do it all along this braid and all over the whole back of the head. So as you can see, it's not a technically challenging thing to do. It's not even really that time consuming. So I'm going to keep going through this process. And the amazing thing is because I don't, I don't even have to look while it's happening, I'm doing this and doing my readings for class multitasking galore. So I will 
check back in with you guys when I'm closer to being done. I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out. Um, I think the more and more I do this style, the easier it gets. And like I mentioned, I'm, I reuse these, so it's been a, a great way to save money. I'm happy, I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this in for a few weeks and then transition back to my natural hair for interview season. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a new technique on how to do a, a pretty easy um, protective style. And I look forward to making more videos like this in the future. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate your support. Bye.